We're going to make an old fashioned using mezcal and tequila. And by the end of the episode, you're really going to wish you knew that Ian just put a little man as a garnish on the drink. Yep. If I had time, I'd make a little woman with a skirt on the other side. Welcome to Call Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Shower. That's Ian Andrews. And we're going to make for you the Wazakin Old Fashioned. Wazakin. Yep. So what's in here? Bye. Oh, submitted by... it's submitted by Philip P. and produced by Eric Scott. There's two people. You should know their names. Watch for their comments. Respect them. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. The recipe is one and a half ounce of tequila. We're using, what are we using? Alacron? Alacron. See, it's got a scorpion on it. It does have a scorpion yeah. on it. That makes it cool. Yeah. Half ounce of mezcal. Uh, teaspoon of agave syrup. I'm going to eyeball that. Two dashes of Angostura syrup and orange peel, which we're going to flame over the drink. This is, this is a teaspoon measure in case you're wondering. But nothing ever comes... This stuff and honey this stick to everything. Honey's worse. But since I'm going to stir with this, I'll use this. That's what I was trying to say. But <laughs> so we're going to put it all in the stirring glass. We're going to stir it with ice. We're going to pour it over ice. And then we're going to flame the orange. Just like yesterday's episode, but without the muddling. Um, the, so if you want to see that... If you, it dugs in the live chat, like I said in an earlier episode... Him and I reviewed, did I say that right? Me and him? Yeah. Him and I reviewed Alacron um, at his parents' estate on a mountain oh. with the mountain setting in the background. Yeah. And a beautiful estate it is. Yes. Oh, yeah, you've been there. I like the grip on that bottle. Yeah. You know what I like about this bottle? The scorpion. Nope. It's really simple. I like the I like the, the cloud, the text cloud. Like it looks oh, like yeah. a, like the, uh, what, it, what they used to call them, tag clouds. Like oh, it's just is that all, what they like, call them? Yeah, like the bigger words are the ones that are more I always popular. thought they were like a map control, like a map type, what do they no. call it, like a graphic map? No. Like the money... Uh, it's, supposed to the, it's supposed to get bolder and bigger the more tags are utilized with those names. There, there was a, uh, a financial map that used things like that, right. a money map or something like that, and it mapped out the whole stock market based on size of the industries. Oh, really? Yeah, it was kind of cool, but that was a little bit different than a tag map. Yeah, a little bit. Like one's just a blogging thing. Uh, but yeah, I, the product, I, I believe we thought the product was pretty good. Um, I say pretty good, meaning like it's a tequila that's worthy of your mouth. Um, oh, that's always good. Montalobos is a, is a mezcal worthy of your mouth. In most cases, what you'll find, and in, in it, it happens in this recipe, is the tequila is going to be the higher percentage, and then the mezcal will be the lower percentage. I'm hoping to be able to convince the Soltado people to let them let us generate our final sponsored recipe utilizing uh, Montalobos. And, uh, Soltado. <laughs> and it'll probably be, Soltado will be higher, and the Mezcal will be lower. It's more, it acts more like a liqueur because of the smokiness to it. Um, it definitely lends a, a neat, smoky effect to it, but it's not always something you need to have front and center. And of course you can. Yeah. yeah. This is, uh, and this I found out is a William Grant property. Uh, I wonder if it says that. No. Which our good old friend, Curd, used to be a rep. Yep. So, unfortunately, Kurt's not a rep anymore, so I can't get my Montalobos. And I asked for some product. I could probably, I didn't ask for product. I asked to talk to their marketing or their team to see if we can make a rescue before. No, yeah, no, no. But see, I could probably see? get more if I needed See what I'm talking about? It gets cold. It sticks. Yeah, That's but what I'm talking about right there. But most of it's in the drink. St most of it is. I'm going to keep stirring now because maybe I'll get rid of some more. You, you've already added the Ango, I see. Yes. Because it's got that... Angle color? Yeah, like that orangey, not Brownish quite orangey. orange. Yeah. And for this, what you want to do is get out the melt water. That's way too much dilution for what you'll need. I would have drank that. Just the melt water? Just the melt water. Delicious melt water. The best thing you could do here is you could carve out of your clear ice. Well, the, cool looking you could make a. Uh, well, the best part is you I could, get to flame another orange. Yes. I think the best part would be if you carved in some Mayan ruins inside of it. I don't know if the directions say flame, do they? Uh, flame, orange oh, peel, it does. and add All right. you got lucky. to the glass for garnish. I thought he was just making it That's up. That's an old-fashioned. <laughs> oh, he's even going to go like the style he said he should have done in the last one. Yeah. Let's see if it works. Let's see if Ian burns himself. You will. Let's see how much Ian burns himself. Yeah. yeah. Let's, Let's see, see if, if he can, can get a hold before, of the orange with Before one the thing is burned down to his hands. Oh, it's, it's getting there. Just don't get any of the ash in there. Oh, you gotta warm it up first. Oh, I see it all squirting in there. Oh! Was that Al um, Payne? It's just a little burning. Well, you burned yourself last time, too, so. Yeah, I'm pretty good at it. Don't touch it! 
<laughs> you want your picture, right? Yes. Yeah. You want pictures with some smoke behind it? No, but that smells really good. Isn't that awesome, though? Yeah. A little smoke it smells like a little bit of cedar. Yeah. You mm. like that? It'll probably light on fire again. Yeah, let's not light anything on fire again. I'm gonna drink this way. You, you should drink that. Stop yourself. playing with your fire. Fire. It smells like oranges. Ooh, it smells like smoky oranges. I don't know if that's from that or if it's from the actual. Oh, from the mezcal. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The look is good. No, it's it's comes down to me trying to figure out, do I like this better than the last one, or is it just a completely different experience, or... I think it is a completely different experience. Do you do one after the other one? This one seems like it follows later in the night. The other one seems like it's got such a aggressiveness that you want to start that way. This one's a little bit heavier. This is almost a... This is heavier? Like, he heavier flavor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, heavier flavor will light you up. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Definitely. Because it's not none of neither of these products are overproof. They're both probably forty. I know that one is. I have to look. This is forty three, so it's a little higher. Not bad though. But, There's only uh, a little bit of that in there, so that's true. Uh, but it's, it's just the right amount, I think. It's got that nice uh, campfire flavor. Very like much I could totally just sit down and with the other one I would rather sit at a bar at like a speakeasy type place and drink it. This one I can sit this in front of like a fire pit yeah. with buddies and just hang out and drink. Yeah, if you if you like a smoky cocktail like, or a mezcal mm. uh, specifically, it's a pretty good drink. It's pretty good old fashioned. Yeah, I mean it's not I mean, old no, fashioned, no, no, no. but it's an old it's, fashioned it's, style. It's an old fashioned by the template of what an old fashioned is, yeah. built in the same kind of style without the sugar cube using yeah, agave. agave Since sugar. you can't get agave cubes that I know of, um, you're gonna have yeah. New product. Yeah. Crystallized <laughs> LG. Fact. You know the minute something comes out with a crystallized agave, that's the rage. Yes, it's good. Yeah. Cool. Will be that guy. I'd rage all over that. I would purple rain all over that. Ooh. Prince. Ooh. <laughs> I don't have any good symbols, but <laughs> <laughs> well, you can come up with a symbol. You can yeah, find a symbol somewhere. That's true. Um, um, what's today? Is say Thursday? Probably. Probably. Um, in yeah, that yeah. case, you should go to facebookcom slash TV. Like the page. Get notifications when Derek goes live. Whenever he posts something. Random, like some <laughs> random video that he makes. Or I whatever. post all the time. This is actually he, Friday. You, you, okay, well, in that case, go to everydaydrinkers.com slash donate and donate to the show. Help out a working man try to make a dream come true. <laughs> I have a dream. <laughs> this is Monday, Martin Luther King, this guy. And my yeah. dream is to drink tequila and, and some Wazakan smoky mezcal. And in order to do that and intent entertain you folks, sometimes this man's going to need some help. Sometimes. I, I just gotta. You from, can still go to Facebook.com slash cocktail. Bobby Susamil, is that how you say it? Susamil? Susamil, yeah. Sent, sent over a donation using that, that uh, nice, method Thank today. So, Yay. there's been, there's been, there's there's love in the audience. If, if you love me as a subscriber. Bobby and Taylor, husband and wife. Yeah. Yes. They've been active in the chat room. And, and and active in the social media I've tried media to realm. explain this because I, I do some, I, I'm not consulting, but like just helping people that just don't understand how YouTube works. And like people, new starting startup people who are like, oh, I'd love to, you know, I've got a new YouTube channel. They got like 40 users or 40 subscribers. <laughs> and on the com creator community, I'm like, guys, learn. Like, what, what do I need to do? Figure out who your subscribers are and learn something about them. Yes. Like, Learn who they are. Do they have kids? Where do they live? What do they like? Learn what else they watch. Right. Go cross comment on those channels. Exactly. So promote your shit. A part of what I like to do is know who watches the show. And the people who comment a lot, I get a few every now and then who's like, I've never commented, I've been watching you for three years. I'm like, holy crap. You know, I've got one guy who commented the other day, he's like, I I like the show better when it was in the attic. I'm like, okay, let me explain to you why that's not ever gonna happen again. Right? And they're like, oh that's cool, I didn't know about that. I love how you always respond to people. I'm like that's how I grow. So if you guys want to, you know, if you feel like you want to give us some cash, donate or whatever, it's probably because you realize I actually care. So if you like me to care, give me money. Right. That's not uh, like a bribe, isn't it? Well, we're on the notion of social network, and you're also very heavy on the Snapchat and the Instagram. Yeah. And the, not so much on the Twitter, but... Twitter's a pain in the ass. Twitter's a pain I know, in you ass. don't like it either. I'm not a big fan of Twitter. Because you don't use it. Um, I, 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 use it, I use it in limited capacity. There are a few of our fans that use Twitter. Um, and I will respond and, and talk with I people. I try to. It's tough, man. Like, nobody listens to you. It's like you talk and it's just gone. Yeah, it's just... At least, it, like, Snapchat, it's like a one-on-one. It's, like, one. it's like real life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some, somebody... It reminds me too much of real life. 
Yeah. Somebody yeah. sent me part of their blog about how whiskey's distilled, and it was a nice, uh, nice little. Yeah, see, there's times where you can yeah. go, oh, that's it, it's it's good to have because you can get those. I told moments. them it was a good distillation of information. <laughs> wow, and that was my. And then he unfollowed. And then he <laughs> unfollowed. <laughs> and anyway, and that was the end of my Twitter experience. Yeah, um, I I don't know. I, I like both my drinks, and I will Apparently. just take them and drink them and finish them off. But this one, this one totally needs a new garnish. It needs pants. It needs uh, orange peel pants. So totally. that's it. Question of the day. That just gave me an idea for a new garnish. Question? No. Are you gonna do a dress? No. I'm gonna do a trans transgender bathroom somewhere. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Um, question of the day. This is going to be a, a, a question that I can probably use. It's, it's just as, as ammunition and backup for myself. But do you like uh, cocktail bartenders or hosts for video shows like this that stick with a casual attire? Or do you like the shows where they dress up and they get all pro? Like... Antonio, when he sends you photos, it's usually him in a suit, right? Right, yeah. He's all he's always a little he's always a pro. And you watch some of the shows on Small Screen Network, they're always dressed up like pro. Like everybody's got like that professional look to them. Then there's me. Right? And and, me. and uh tipsy bartender and you and uh We tend to be a little bit more casual. A little more more casual. What what makes you feel better about making cocktails? Do you like the the uh the sh the, I don't know, the cut and dry, like, black and white, this is me, I'm in a suit, I'm going to serve this to you. Uh, or do you like people who just, off the cuff, more like uh, your neighbor, as opposed to, like, the guy at the crafty bar? I'm curious. And and I'm not looking for people to, to try and say, oh, no, I love your stuff because you wear Hawaiian shirts and weird crap. Serious. Like, what do you like? I mean, I'm not compliment fishing here. No, I'm not looking for compliments. I mean, Christ, I'm wearing neon shorts right now. You're a sock and sandal kind of guy. Yeah, sock so. and sandals. I'm like... Be, uh, like beach cover style, uh, <laughs> like Doug, uh, Don, like Don, yeah, the beach cover, just like Don. So there you go. That's your question. Answer it. I have no. He could be done this in the next episode, which is a shooter. So we'll see. That's it. <laughs> maybe in the maybe in the lead in he'll be ready. Maybe. We're, we're teaching you how to drink. See, that's, that's a tasty old fashioned. Right that's a strong drink, but, but done old different. fashioned is a strong drink. Right, but. Didn't you know that's like when we did what but was you're the drink? Also using 101. The white Ukraine, yeah, we, there's, it's a higher proof. But when we used the when we created the the white Ukrainian, 